when did you start getting into like the spirituality shit? Like what made you get into it actually? Um, so basically my my parents, like okay, my dad he barely knows English. My I'm from Venezuela, you feel me? Mm -hmm. My mom is American. So I just started seeing how like my household was and it was a lot of negative energy. So I'm mm -hmm. like, this has to be definitely the devil controlling all this. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They have their own demons and shit like that. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, I'm like, I don't like this feeling. I don't like the, the where I'm at. I don't want to follow into their steps. You yeah. feel me? So it's like, I got to get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to end up being like them. So mm -hmm. my, my parents, I guess my mom and them, I guess they were Catholic. My dad, I don't even know what the fuck. Like, he believes, he believes yeah. in God. You feel me? But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I try not to go off religion no more. Like, that mm -hmm. shit, mm -hmm. nowadays, it's mm -hmm. not something you want to really focus on. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you have a connection or if you have a relationship with what you believe in, exactly. you for it, you feel me, keep doing what you're doing. But me, I just really didn't like how everything was happening. I didn't like the household. There was a lot of negative, it was a cycle of negative energy. Everything bad was happening. You feel mm. me? Even my life, like I was doing bad shit. I was doing bad shit. So it's yeah. like, I did not want that for myself. And I'm like, if I don't change, then this is going to be a con Continuing cycle. the cycle, yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's mm -hmm. just gonna be a continuous cycle. So then I started going to the church, whatever. Then I started like I would go to like different churches to try to see what's up, and everybody said something different. So I'm like, all right, y'all niggas not really going mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Different vibes. Exactly. Like, exactly. It's not good for me, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what the, that's what the thing is with churches too. They try to fuck with your head. We're really mm -hmm. like like I said, mm -hmm. we are mastermind people. We are. Mm -hmm. That's your mind type shit. Just, mm -hmm. a, just a mind. So it's mm -hmm. like, you do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody can put mm -hmm. a gun to your head and force you to go to this church and yeah. be this, be Muslim, mm -hmm. be a, a, a Christian, whatever. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, I had to really connect spiritually and do it on my own. I didn't have nobody to really lay it down for me. Yeah. I had to learn this on my own. And that's why, if you know it, and you know much more about, like, energies and stuff like that, how the world works, how the mind works, all that, mm -hmm. you're a mastermind, that's it. Exactly. No, 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 that's like, like even a lot of people don't want to believe in the spiritual shit, you feel me? So like, I remember I even took a psychology class and I was like, even if you go down to like just something as simple as the brain and how the shit works, you create your reality. Whatever you think, your words, all of that shit is creating your outside reality. So it means you can literally do whatever the fuck you want to do if you believe it, you feel me? So it's just like, I believe, like, I don't give a fuck what your purpose is, bro. Like, like I be telling niggas, I, I'm going to give you the information. I don't give a fuck if you're good. I don't give a fuck if you're evil. You feel me? Do you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm not in the right. I'm not God. I can't tell you that what you're doing is wrong. You feel me? So do whatever the fuck you're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Do you. But niggas are all living for the fucking world and shit. Niggas are living, for, you know, for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? The image and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just do you. Fuck everybody. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's going to like you. So it's just exactly. like. That's why manifestation, manifestation is very important, bro. Because when mm -hmm. you manifest something, mm -hmm. that shit is going to pop up no matter what comes. It may not come at the time. It may not come so, at the Sorry, time. somebody called me. It's okay. It's all right. It may not come. Like, manifestation, when you manifest something, it may not come the time that you want it to come, but it is to surely come. You exactly. Know? So it's like, mm -hmm. you manifest it mm -hmm. in, like, being who you want to be. It's going to come. And you're going to go through these battles and these uh -huh. struggles because you're going to enter yep. into that. So build you into that. In. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So sometimes also you got to be careful what you manifest in because when you get it, it's like, what are you going to do? You with don't it? want that. Mm -hmm. That's true, too. That's so true, too. Even when a person, even when a person relationship, you manifest a person. Let's just say I'm like, oh, I want to I want to I want a light skin with blue eyes. Da -da -da -da. I want a light skin with blue eyes. And then boom, it <laughs> comes like six. Six months later, and now it's like, okay, I got this person. Now what am I going to do with this person? So you have to be very, very careful what you ask for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I what I'm saying. Like, it's... What is that? How do you find... Yeah, I see. I hate when niggas ask about money, bro. Like, it's not about the fucking money, my nigga. Like, I know you can manifest money and shit like that, but I just feel like it's not worth it. You feel me? Like, just get whatever the fuck you want. It doesn't have to be through money. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all niggas, I feel like y'all niggas think it's just the goal is to be rich and that's it, my nigga. No, nigga, what is your purpose in life, my nigga? Like, these niggas, I don't exactly. know, bro. Like, um, 
But yeah, yeah, like about the manifestation and shit. Like it's all, like it's all about divine timing. You know what I'm saying? When everything is aligned, that's when you're gonna get whatever the fuck you're supposed to get. You know what I'm saying? Because it's you're gonna get it when it's time to get it. Type shit. But niggas, they you know they ask for something, they don't get it. Like the next day, and they're like, oh shit, I'm never gonna get this. They give up hope and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? That's where I think that's where faith comes in. You feel me? You have to you know just be faithful, go through the trials and tribulations, all that shit, and then you're gonna get to where the, wherever the fuck you want to be at. You feel me? Exactly. Mm. Let me see what these niggas are talking about. People think they know what they want until they get it exactly. They don't. Niggas, no. Niggas, if you would ask the niggas back in the day what they wanted, they would have said faster horses, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? They would not have thought of cars, my nigga. You feel me? Like, niggas don't know what the fuck they want until they, you know what I'm saying? You have to be careful what you manifest in. Be very careful. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, What do you guys want to manifest? Um, what a, mm, you go first, go ahead. What I want to manifest, I want to manifest into a bigger lifestyle, better lifestyle, actually. Mm -hmm. I want something that's going to make me and my family comfortable. I'm not worried about the money. I'm not worried about any of that. Like, mm -hmm. I can have a beat-up car, but if I have food on the table and I'm living good with my family, that's all that matters. So I'm going to manifest into something that is very important. Mm -hmm. Not only to me, I'm not going to just think about myself. I got to mm -hmm. think about the people that I care about. Mm -hmm. Also, what I really want is to, I want to be like, not just a crapper. I want, I want to be a spokesperson. Same shit that I'm doing now. Like making these videos. I want to build up my YouTube. I want to be able to have my own, like, I guess you could say like, uh, let's just say like arena, like, or whatever the fuck. Like, uh, somewhere I could just be on stage like and there's, Hundreds of thousands of people that are just going to listen to what I have to say. Yeah. Questions are like almost like a preacher. So I want that. What do you want? Um. Okay, I'm going to bounce off what you said. Definitely in a preach, you feel me? Like, my whole thing is, like, I want to live for the art. You know what I'm saying? I want to explain to people that everybody has different perspectives and you should all be free. Why can't we all agree to disagree? You know what I'm saying? That's my purpose. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to create good music because the shit these niggas listen to is bullshit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make all my shit in 432 hertz now. You feel me? I want to make, like, just art. I want my name to be surrounded by art, you feel me? Like, the nigga Apollo, the Greek god, was literally the god of art and music and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to recreate that, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like exactly. I am in every aspect, you feel me? Like, and you started off with a good name. That's yeah. that's No, because like, it's like I I thought heavily about the name, you know what I'm saying? One day I was high as fuck, and then the, the name just popped into my head. It's like almost it chose me, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I was like, yo, this is hard as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Because I wanted something... That sounded like real. It sounded like an artist. It sounded like someone who could teach you some shit at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Something that could last. Not a nigga named Lil Pump or some fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's those, all those niggas, they don't have a bigger purpose other than the money. You feel me? But like for me, it's not about the money. It's about, it's, it's always been bigger than the music. You feel me? That's how I feel about it. Music is just, honestly, music is just a way that you can express feelings, you know, mm -hmm. like all that emotion. Which, like, everything that you think about, things that you go through. So it's like, yeah, you know, music is, it, it's big, but mm -hmm. you have to know your purpose. Yeah. So like, you, if you're making a song mm -hmm. and you, you know, you wrote, you wrote your own lyrics and shit like that, now you got to explain that shit. To people. Exactly. So exactly. Like, it has to mean explain, something. If you can't explain your song, mm -hmm. then what's the point of that? What was the purpose of you making that Thank song you. for Thank people you. out in the world? Thank you. So it's very important. That's why you got to watch what you do. Mm -hmm. You got to watch what you Day, you feel mm. me so it's like and not saying that it's never too late to change no never never you can change whenever you want you can change within five years you can change within tomorrow you can jump mm. out your bed and be a whole mm. different person mm -hmm. so yep. never let anybody say that you cannot change you mm. can't be this you can't be that because you can't mm -hmm. but it's that's down to you to change though earth. Mm -hmm. that's the thing it's about it's down to you to change no matter how many things anybody else tells you it's up to you only you can make that choice for yourself you know what i'm saying but a lot of these niggas, like, I feel like a lot of these niggas are asleep, bro. Like, a lot of these niggas, they think this shit is fake. Yeah, and they're no just idea. like, bro, and I'm just like, bro, I'm starting to see this. I'm just like, I'm starting to be scared for y'all niggas. I'm just like, bro, this shit is, it's getting serious, my nigga. Like, these niggas, these niggas are afraid of 5G and all this shit. And it's about it's supposed to come out this year or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, bro. Like, it's like these niggas are trying to kill us, my nigga. Why? You feel me? It's like nobody is questioning this shit. And that's the problem I see with this entire world. But why is nobody questioning this shit exactly because people are so also like you know they listen to their favorite rapper 
listen to what their favorite rapper is saying and doing long. But they really, really don't know what the fuck somebody could be really saying. Like, yeah. y'all just going along with it. Like, nah, you got to break that shit down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fucking calling me, bro. Niggas never want to fucking call me, but when I'm on live, they want to call me now, bro. Fuck, dog. Bruh. I'm sorry, bro. I'm I was, I literally, before I went on live, I was like, I hope nobody calls me because then they're going to fuck up my live. It's fucking, I'm trying to record this so I can post this on YouTube for us, bro. These niggas are pissing me off right now, bro. Stop fucking calling it's all me. It's good, bro. Damn. They, that's, bro, that's another thing, like, distraction. Yes. Those little things are little distractions because you're saying it out into the universe. Mm, so mm, that's facts. Mm. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, no, people don't like think. People think just things like video games and shit are distractions, but it's like people can be distractions too. You feel me? If they're not helping you get to where the fuck you need to be at, type shit, they're distracting you, my nigga. Exactly. I, that's why, like, I, I'm not gonna say I have a small circle. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have clout. You feel me? I've always had clout, but niggas think this shit is lit. This shit is annoying as fuck, bro. Like. Yeah, this, it's not. It's nothing to be hype about. Bro, <laughs> it, I it so many niggas fucking hit me up and shit, and then I I see niggas on the street like, oh, what's good, Apollo? I'm just like, oh fuck, what was this nigga's name? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, bro, this shit is not cool sometimes, bro. Like, I sometimes I want to just chill. At the end of the day, none of that matters. That cloud shit does not matter. It doesn't. Think about it. Think about this. It's just a couple hundred thousand people knowing your name, but exactly. they don't know anything about exactly. you. Exactly. So not matter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It does not matter. Okay, you want a picture with me? All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I know what you're about to do with that picture. You're about to post it for cloud. Exactly. Like, exactly. It's that matters. It's not gonna get them anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna get you. Like mm -hmm. they don't really know your your yourself. Your no, image. exactly. And I was thinking about it the other day too. Like, what? Like, I could have been if I wanted to be like just a basic ass rapper. I could have been, and I know I could have been. I my first bro. I know I could have been, but like. I know a fucking a random ass nigga would have did some with this fucking clout. They would have did some bullshit with it. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, got as much, I don't know, rap music, whatever, whatever the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? But like, I've taken my time to like build something with it because like I want to do something bigger with my clout. You know what I'm saying? It's about what you do with your influence because influence is power. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be abusing their power, abusing their clout. All these niggas on the radio and shit, they not talking about shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So, I'm, so I'm trying to talk about something, you feel me? That's why, like, I like talking to people like you, like Sticks, like all these other people. Because, like, I like good conversations. Shit, exactly. you can learn something from, you feel me? Exactly. Yeah, you can't. Sometimes, bro, you can't talk about this with everybody. Because mm -hmm. it's like they don't understand you. They're not on the same don't. mindset as you. So they you don't. can talk to them, and it's just going to go in one ear and out the other. So it's like mm -hmm. a waste of time, and it's a waste of energy. Mm -hmm. That's so it. Like, you got to have you gotta have people around you. You got to feel their, their vibe. They got to mm -hmm. energy. They got to be a, exactly the same person as you in mm -hmm. order to speak about stuff like this because exactly they could either take it or leave it like okay i'm gonna ask you this question but like have you ever like met someone and like maybe someone you were trying to talk to or, or anything but like you peep and like hold a good conversation or they were just like just basic you feel me like have you ever had that happen to you no. yeah no, I'm out. okay okay so because you're very cautious. Yeah, you're out type shit. Exactly. Very cautious. I've, bro, I've had, like, I can smell a basic bitch now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, bro, I, I know what it looks like now. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, some of them, like, they just they just post pictures every day. All they talk about is their nails, their hair, and all this other bullshit. I'm just like, bro, what else do you talk about? You know what I'm saying? What else do you have to offer? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I can't stand that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, do something with your life, bro. You need someone with the same mindset as you. Bro. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. It's all like I'm like I'm always like yeah you're pretty but like what what else up here you feel me like niggas like yeah like are you really up mm -hmm. there are you really, mm -hmm. like you guys don't know what a twin flame is it's the exact reflection of yourself mm -hmm. so if you are talking to someone and you see one little thing that's off that's not your twin flame bro mm -hmm. and you can really like be like damn I really like this person. This person is so cute. This person is smart, blah, blah, blah. But if they're not exactly like you, because you got to remember, you are a reflection. Like, your twin flames are a reflection of, of you. Mm -hmm. They're going to do everything like you. They're going to mm -hmm. sound like you. They're going to have the same mindset as you. Everything. Mm-hmm. That's what I, um, I remember I asked, like, 
I was reading this book and it was saying like you have to like ask the universe for what you want type shit, right? And like in the book it was like, oh, you know, you, you it would say say this. It was like, oh, infinite spirit, grant it said open the reservoirs of my supply and grant me and he just say whatever. And I, I remember I said it one night, like I was like, Oh, grant me the girl that is rightfully mine through divine right, you feel me? And um I started talking to this girl. I'm like, oh shit, you know, I would see eleven eleven all the time anytime I'm talking to her type shit. So I'm like, oh shit, you feel me? Is this my twin flame type shit? And like at first I'm like, oh shit, like she's really everything like me. But the thing is though, it's like I don't know if it really is though. Cause this is like I can't have deep conversations with her. Like she was pretty, all the other shit, but it was like she was missing that aspect. So I don't know if maybe it was just the wrong time type shit. You know it what I'm could, saying? Yeah. Also, like that's why I said like when you man that's like in a way like you manifested into that. So mm -hmm. it's like you can manifest into something so quick, but that might not be the person that's right for you and that you manifest mm -hmm. in. There's two types. There's the type that you manifest in and it's like it, it grew along the way. So yeah. You, know, you just manifested into something quick and then yeah. like passionate. It wasn't manifested. there. Like mm -hmm. you feel me? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you gotta just like it takes time, of course. You gotta Definitely. let it come to you. Definitely. But you got to make sure you're manifesting into the right thing, the right person. Mm -hmm. How do you get into man manifestation mindset? Um, There's multiple ways that you can you feel me, get into a manifestation mindset. Sometimes what I like to do is play calming, like, manifestation music to mm -hmm. try to just... Get in that state. Like, like, seep my soul into mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. and just really close my eyes and start to just think of everything that I want to be aligned and how I want to manifest it. So mm. it could be like little details. It could be something major. It's whatever you want to happen. But when it comes, be careful. Oh yeah, for sure. Another thing with like manifesting and shit, like I've read that like it, it has to do with literally love, like the power of love, because you can manifest anything with love. You feel me? Exactly. So like it's like being able to harness that power. So like I feel like a lot of people don't understand how to control their emotions, but once you learn how to control your emotions, you can literally manifest anything you want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, all this spiritual, all this witchcraft, all this other shit, bro. All that shit's real, bro. Like, that shit's crazy. That woo. <laughs> That's all how that Kodak shit. got out. Oh, that woo? Oh, nah. Help me, please, with meditation, please. All right, so, Jaws, you meditate, right? Yeah, I do. How do you meditate? You walk, walk me through how you meditate. Okay, so how I meditate would be, I would sit outside, Mm -hmm. um, they say it's very good to just be outside um, and close your eyes and really just breathe, listen to all the little things like the sounds of the birds, you know, just like anything, the wind, mm -hmm. like have like just be outside, close your eyes, you know, you can, however you want, sit down, lay down, it does not matter, like mm -hmm. whatever makes you comfortable and whatever makes you just, just meditate, you know, also listening to like the meditation music, all that mm -hmm. stuff. I just really meditate and i just gasp everything how mm. do you meditate? um okay so um i'm trying to like cut down on it but like i've been like hitting like a blunt or like my pen like one time right before i go in because it helps me get even deeper into the music but i just don't want to become dependent on it because obviously dependency is a bad thing yeah. so but like when i'm in my head it's just like i made a video on it like it's just like i'm almost hypnotizing myself with the music like i try to visualize the music i try to feel the music i try to vibrate with the music and, like, once I'm, like, in that trance, like, I kind of just, like, go in my head, man. I'm just, like, sorting through my thoughts, and, like, I will get new ideas and shit, like, out of nowhere type shit. It's, it's honestly amazing. Like, I come out of it more and more enlightened. It feels so good. Um, How to cleanse your mind. You got to organize yourself, bro. Your, exactly. Your external is a reflection of your internal. Paulo, can I get some no fat tips? Y'all niggas in this shit, bro. I hate saying that. It sounds so lame. But listen, um... Just stop masturbating, y'all niggas. Y'all niggas are so weird. Stop fucking masturbating, dog. Like, that's what you do, my nigga. Damn. It's like, it's the same concept of a succubus literally sucking the seed out of you, bro. It's the same shit, but you're releasing it your damn self, bro. How how dumb are you, bro? Stop doing that shit. That's all I have to say about it. Just stop it. Mm -hmm. Y'all funny as hell. <laughs> Talk about semen retention? No, I'm done. That's all I have to say about it. That's all I have to say about it. Stop doing that shit. Try to get a feature with Daylight. They'll probably even let you for free. I need to talk to Daylight. I want to talk to Daylight and Soul. Could them niggas be on some other shit? I'm not going to lie. I'll learn hella shit for them. Sun gaze? No. I have not done that yet. I've stared at the sun before, and I almost went blind. I swear to God. 
But no, I, I'm not some news. Not yet. I'm not at that yet. I'm not at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, talk about astronomy. Oh, okay. So let's talk about that. All right. So I'm an Aries. What mm-hmm. are you about? Scorpio. Mm. Mm. Why you said that? <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? I've been running into so many Scorpios. Like, I don't know what it is, bro. That's but crazy. I, I do know what it is. I lied. I do know what it is. Okay. So Aries and Scorpios. I like, like that. They they so compatible, bro. That's They're crazy. very compatible. So let's talk about that. No, nah, talk about all that shit because I I never dived I I didn't dive too deep into astrology and shit. But I know like you females y'all be all out all about that shit. So put me on game. Maybe you attract them. I do attract them. I do. That's crazy. Because it's compatible. Mm. It's uh, crazy. But if you are Aries, I'm an Aries. We are fire energy. So we. And I'm water. Really, you know we're kind of snappy. And, but we're only like that because we build up so much anger and stuff into us that, like, when it finally comes out, we just explode. Mm. So, but I'm learning how to control that. I don't mm. know about other areas. I'm not, I can't talk for other areas, but Aries, we're very loyal. We're down to earth. We're always on the go. So we have so much energy. We're here, we're there, we're there. Um, we put a lot of people before ourselves, mm. which kind of throws us off sometimes, but we are go getting So, mm. We get the job done. We do what we got to do. That's it. Do you know about mm-hmm. Scorpios or do you, you need me to talk about that? Um, well, no, no, no. You can talk about a little bit of it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like what I know so far like about myself. Like I was talking to some girl earlier. Like she was saying like we're very like deep people. We're very polarizing. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's why like there are times like I will go from making calm music to making like angry music. There's two sides to me, you know what I'm saying? In everything, in every aspect, you feel me? So like that's what confuses people. And I feel like that's why people think we're crazy. Um, we're also, I feel like we're karma for people. Like, apparently, like, we come into people's life, like, as karma for them type of shit. Because, like, I, it's like, it's crazy. I just be chilling. And, some, and I just be giving people karma. I'm just like, well, I, I didn't mean to do that. You feel me? Like, I was, but it's just like, I guess that's just, because I think we're, we have to do with, like, the planet Pluto or some shit, which has to do with, like, death and, like, you know, being reborn and all the other shit. You feel me? So, but what else do you know about it? Scorpios. So, you guys also are, um, okay, so Scorpios, basically, just by even the name, Scorpio. Yeah, so you yeah. Guys, you guys, you guys fucking stink. What you, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Toxic. If you piss us off, though. It's if you toxic. piss us off. Nah, it's not toxic. No, 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 hold on. Not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be good and it can be bad. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just, I'm making it seem like, okay, so Scorpios. <laughs> You guys are very, your weaknesses, you guys are very stubborn sometimes. Mm, mm, mm. Very, very hard-headed. Very loyal. Mm-hmm. You guys are very loyal. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are very, your minds are just beautiful. You feel me? You guys have pure souls. You mm. guys know what you're talking about. You guys know what you're doing. And you just enlighten a lot of people. Mm. So your minds can literally change a lot of people. Mm. And move like literally like move this world you guys are very awesome bro that's why aries and aries and scorpios are fucking about it they're same people man that's crazy as fuck i need i'm, I'm gonna look more into this shit that's so crazy because like scorpio is a water sign and you're a fire sign so how does that even work you feel me okay, but it's opposites gonna... attract types type shit is it like that yes yes mm, makes so, sense when i when i be around scorpios you feel me they be like oh you got a lot of energy you fire da, da, da. i tell mm-hmm. them hey, da, da, da. So they know how to calm me down a little bit. Yeah. They talk to me more calmly. I'm more, I'm more hyper. I'm more mm. hyper. But also, Scorpios have that in them. So when they're around the area. Exactly. It brings it out. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, you was getting too hype. Oh, shit. Mom. <laughs> they start getting hype. So it's yeah. like, you feel me? It just, it, it, it all goes along. Like, it just all plays out well. Yeah, I feel like we, like, feel energies, like, really, like, deeply, you feel me? So, it's just, like, I, I go off people's vibes and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you, if you feeling good, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Like, if someone's crying around me, I might feel like crying, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, like, it's like water. We're literally water. Like, I flow. Like, I just go with the flow, you feel me? I be okay. chilling. It's like, as a Scorpio, like, I only tell the truth. So, like, and it's like I'm just speaking facts. I say what I see. I, I just, that's it, you feel me? And, like, niggas will get mad at me. They're like, oh, I'm coming at you. I'm not coming at you, bro. I'm just stating what I see, you feel me? And niggas, like, if you can't take the truth, my nigga, then, like, I don't want to be around you. You feel me? Like, it's just. Um, 
Yeah, guys, I don't know too many about the signs. Like, I'm still studying them. I'll be able to say a Taurus. I dated a Taurus. Um, they're the complete opposite of Aries. But with Aries, they don't, I don't know, They don't. you guys don't cope well with us. And it's because we have so much energy and we're fire that mm -hmm. we try to do the best we can. This is funny. Yeah, see, Taurus and Aries don't really mix. They don't. And that's fine. Like, I'm not. I'm that's not what I'm saying. That. I feel like niggas be getting, like, mad when, like, someone's not, like, compatible with you, my nigga. Like, maybe they just weren't meant for you, you know what I'm saying? Everyone has different types, my nigga. Like, just move on. You feel me? Yeah. Like, me, I'm compatible with Leos and Scorpios. Mm. Leos, aren't they, like, very aggressive, too, type shit? Oh, they're fire. Oh, okay. Makes they're sense. Fire. Makes sense, yeah. Leos are fire, man. They're just like an Aries. They got the same type of mindset. They're, they're um, they're, a, like, their animals are lions. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They yes in control too like they always try to be in control they have fire you know but they're they're aligned with aries mm. Mm. scorpios y'all just attack like that's why i was saying like that's why i was saying like you guys are like a sting like you guys are oh, yeah. sting like that toxic spreads mm -hmm. and it's like like fuck man now either good or bad you guys can really break hearts i'm not oh lie. chill chill no, not, not like, like <laughs> No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just it's it's hard to forget y'all. Yeah. Like, very mm. hard to forget about you guys. Mm. Same thing with the Aries. Like people they they be with the Aries, they like, damn, I got this person on my mind. Hug yeah. Me. You feel me? Yeah, Scorpios, you guys are really hard to forget about. But like let me explain that like sting, because like I feel like niggas like we're like very I feel like we're all very chill people. And it's like because of that, if you get us to the point where you piss us off, you deserved it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we're going to come at you. Like, you know, like, I hold grudges. I'm not going to lie. I will hold grudges. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you did something to me, you crossed me at, at, at all. You feel me? Like, I'm just like, all right. It's fuck you now. I'm going to make sure you feel me type shit. So, like, that's where that sting comes from. It's just like, I be chilling. So if you, like, I don't bother nobody. So if you come and, like, bother me, I'm, I'm going to make sure, you know, you don't do that shit again. You feel me? That's all it is. Exactly. Yeah. Scorpios, you guys. You guys do tend to hold on to things like that. Yeah. Budges. You guys don't forget. Like, never, never. Oh, shit. Good ass memory. Me, I've been, I've been, I've worked on like not holding grudges because it's mm. not going to get me far. And I mean, and see, I understand that. I understand like you so said, you don't have to waste, waste energy on that. You know what I'm saying? Silence is even be better revenge. You feel me? But I don't know. Like for me, it's just like. It's just inside of me. I have to. It's like you have to feel me. You feel me? This is what it is. Like, of course. Just, this is what it is. Like Aries, we can be very petty. Mm. So it's like we are gonna block you, but then we are gonna unblock you so you can see our page. You annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as hell, bro. That's oh, we're we trying to we trying to have y'all's attention. Of course, of course. You're sick, aren't you? Like, I don't know, bro. I've been like this for a few days. It's like... Same. I'm sick, too, bro. This I is bad. I going around because a lot of people have been getting sick. I don't like it, bro. I hate being sick, bro. I hate when I don't feel it, like, in my hundred, bro. It's just annoying. I, I rarely get sick. Like, really? Damn. That shit yeah, sucks. I really get sick. I, all I drink is water. That's all I drink is water, too. So why the fuck am I always sick? It don't make sense. <laughs> Nigga, you might be around the wrong people. Maybe. Maybe. These niggas killing my shit. Damn. These niggas killing me. Ugh, they drain your shit. Oh, Gemini. no. Cancers are the most dangerous signs and Scorpios. You guys, yeah, but Cancers are very, like, you guys are very emotional and sensitive. I feel like, I mean, I feel like Scorpios can be, like, we're very into our emotions, too, type shit. Yeah. But I feel like it's not, like, sensitive type shit, though. It's not like that. It's not sensitive, but you guys do get very emotional. But yeah. it's only because you guys care so much. Yeah, exactly. No, that's exactly... That's, remember when I said I'm polarizing? It's either I care or I don't give a fuck. You feel me? Like, exactly. there's only two sides. It's that's not, it. It's not in between. Exactly. That's the same thing with Aries, bro. Like, there's no in between. It's either mm -hmm. one or the other. Mm-hmm. December 15th. Uh, I think that... Fuck, I gotta look it up. You guys can actually go on. It's I have the um damn, I know the app that you guys can, not even an app, but it's like a website you can go and look up your sign. It'll literally give you everything. It'll tell you the weaknesses, the strengths, your your the compatibility. Like it'll tell you every little detail. About oh, you. put put me on. Send me that shit. Right? I'm gonna send you that. Please. Um, 
where do you go to study your astronomy stuff? I will actually let you guys know that. Damn, I wish I had a picture of the thing. I'm gonna send it to Apollo, and then Apollo can like. Oh, I got them. I got them. Yeah, I got them. Like some things can like relate, and some things are kind of relevant, but don't believe like all of it. Mm -hmm. It's just it's gonna give you. You like, you froze on my screen, bro. I'm still froze. Oh no, no, you could not. You could. Oh, you yeah, was just froze, froze. Somebody right. called me. Oh no, you could, you could. That's just annoying, bro. Apollo, is this your girl? No. This is the homie Jars. Mm-hmm. Um. Yes, Apollo is fire. Oh wait. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I read that too fast. It's crazy. Now you go. Um, damn. Come on now. You keep falling. This shit keep falling. Yeah. My brother, you ain't finished your water yet, but I would have finished like three bottles by oh, now, bro. Look at I'm this telling you. big. That shit. That shit's big. You lying. That's what. It's not the same as this. Put it up to your head. My besties the Aries. Yes, Aries gang. Yes, we are loyal. Thank you for Aries. saying that. Because people just be playing with us. <laughs> no, I feel like Scorpios get the most hate. Don't even don't even do that. Listen, Everybody Aries, hates us. Aries is the first breath. Yeah. And Scorpio is the last. Last. Mm, so makes like, sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Not the signs, boy. Oh, shit. Me. That's we, crazy. We run a shit. That's crazy. Thirty-seven people are in here, bro. Like that just be—we've been on here for a minute. I don't go on live like that. It's like I really don't be using my. That's why I'm like I'm gonna just share the clout, give it to niggas that deserve it. Man, I I always be like on live, just either preaching or previewing a song or yeah. just being goofy because that's what I do. No, I feel you. Gotta be goofy. Niggas need to learn how to live. Bro, exactly. People be so like they be trying to put up a front on social media, like mm -hmm. be yourself. Like, that's it. That's it. it. Somebody like, gonna like you. you know exactly. You just, never know. You could do something or say something, and that shit just go viral the next day. Type shit. So I'm just like, that's why I just been putting everything on this shit. Cause I used to be just like that. I'm not gonna lie. Like I used to be stuck in my ego. But it's like now I'm just like you know like fuck it. Don't fuck these niggas. I'm gonna just do me. What are you? So. KSI swag. Who the what is? Do y'all take? Do you take cold showers? I, I've been taking cold showers. You don't take a, you can't do it, huh? My shit gotta be hot. Damn, I see. Unless I, my body's hot, if I'm sick and shit, like if I'm hot, I gotta, I'll take a cold shower. But my shit gotta be hot, steamy. Mm, I feel you. No, since I'm sick, I've been taking more like steamy ass showers. Though, I'm not gonna lie, but other than that, like I be going back to the cold showers. Niggas are like saying, "Oh, that's why I'm always sick," but I don't know. I don't know if that's true because like, I know it's good for your skin and shit if you bathe in like cold water. Yeah. Even if 1% of the human race likes you, that's more than a billion. Type shit. Mm -hmm. Type shit. 